Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Fidget. And in today's video, I'm just going to go through some health checks you can do at home with your chinchillas. Just a little disclaimer, I am not a vet. I don't have any medical experience, but I do have a lot of chinchillas and I have owned them for a number of years. So now that that's all said and done, one of the most important things to do, other than the visual inspection of your chinchillas, is something that sometimes gets overlooked, and that is to weigh your chinchillas. Because, like all prey animals, chinchillas hide their illnesses extremely well. And one of the first indications that something is wrong could be weight loss. I may do a whole video on how to weigh your chinchillas, but for now, a chinchillas, if when you weigh your chinchillas there's a variance of 20 to 30 grams, that's not too much to worry about because that could be the difference between a full and empty bladder or a full and empty stomach. But if your chinchillas are losing more than 30 grams, you might want to seek medical attention from a vet just to check up that they're all okay and that there's nothing going on with them. Right, weighing over with. First off, check the eyes. They should be bright and clean. If you notice discharge coming from the eyes or wetness around the eyes or wetness anywhere near the eye, I would suggest seeing a vet as soon as possible. It could be quite something quite simple such as an eye infection or it could be an indication of something far more serious which is dental problems. Suggest to your vet that they actually do an x-ray of the chinchilla skull because that's the only way to know for sure whether it's a dental issue or not. If the eyes are cloudy or if there's a mark on the eyes I would see the vet as well because that could be an indication of cataracts or blindness. Next check the nose. It should be dry and clean. If there's mucus or discharge coming from the nose, you need to see a vet because it means that your chinchilla isn't well. Next thing you need to check is the teeth. You might not know whether the teeth are too long or not, but you can certainly see the colour of the, of the chinchilla's teeth. The chinchilla's teeth should be dark yellow to really, really dark orange. The darker the orange, the better. I know it sounds gross, but it's actually super healthy for your chins to have really, really dark orange teeth. If the chinchilla's teeth are pale and white, I would seek a vet because it means that your chinchilla is just not well. Next, the mouth. The mouth area should be dry and clean. If your chinchilla's mouth is wet and it's wet on the chin and looks like the chinchilla has been drooling, see your vet ASAP because that potentially could be dental problems. The ears. Ears should be clean and free from discharge. If there's discharge, obviously see your vet. Whiskers. If you have one chinchilla on their own, their whiskers should be long and complete. However, if you have two or more chinchillas living together, you may find that one has lovely long whiskers and the other one has short, stubby whiskers. Don't worry too much. Chinchillas have been known to nibble at each other's whiskers and it's normally a dominance thing. So the one with the short, stubby whiskers will be the less dominant chinchilla. The one with the long, whiskers will be the dominant chinchilla in the hierarchy of their relationship. That makes sense. Next, the fur. It should be fairly even all over with no bald patches. They do kind of have a molt where they will release some of their dead fur and that is called priming. It does make them look a little bit tatty but it doesn't make them look overly uneven. If your chinchilla's got really uneven fur, it could be a sign of fur chewing. I may do a whole video on fur chewing. 
or if there's actual ball patches it could be a sign that they've been fighting and there's been fur slips occurring or it could be ringworm now with ringworm it normally starts on the nose around the eyes and at the base of the tail although it can appear anywhere on the chinchilla with ringworm the skin normally looks quite dry and flaky as well if you've got ringworm you can treat it at home but in severe cases I would see a vet check your chinchilla's feet if your chinchilla's feet are swollen look sore and are bleeding I would suggest taking them to the vet because it may be bumblefoot however if your chinchilla's feet are just hard and dry I honestly wouldn't worry too much about that because chinchillas form natural call calluses in the wild because um, they're rock hoppers so they, the natural call calluses which are like hard patches actually protect the chinchilla's feet so I wouldn't worry too much about that if the chinchilla's feet do look overly sore though um, you can moisturise them but if they're bleeding, if they're swollen if they look like they're uncomfortable for the chinchilla, see a vet. Check the chinchilla's poo. Familiarise yourself with what their normal poop looks like. This shouldn't be too difficult because you'll be cleaning it up enough. But if the poop gets smaller in size or becomes irregular or there is much less of it than normal, I would check for bloat now bloat just literally is your your chinchilla stomach will feel bloated now this can be treated at home with infant gas drops but honestly when i have bloat in my chinchillas i take them to the vet because bloat can be fatal if it's not treated correctly so i just always if, if i think my chinchilla's got bloat i normally just take them to the vet. Also with chinchilla poop, if they've got diarrhoea, if it lasts more than 24 hours, seek medical attention from a vet. Chinchillas can get diarrhoea from time to time. It can be a case of, um, because they've been given too many treats, they've been given the, some things upset their digestive system. But if it lasts for longer than 24 hours, I would suggest seeking a vet, but just because they can get dehydrated from it. Next, check for just behaviour. Is your chinchilla acting normally? Are they hunched over? Are they not eating? All these things, if any of those things are the case, if they're just not acting themselves, it might be worth seeking uh, advice from a vet. Next, if you've got a male chinchilla, you're going to need to check for fur rings. Now this is on the um, privates of a chinchilla. I'm not going to do a video of that now. Um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube of how to check for fur rings. Um, but if you have male chinchillas, especially if they're living with other chinchillas, whether it's males or females, it's important to do that. Um, if they're on their own, you still need to check them, but it's less likely that they're going to get fur rings. I think I've covered everything other than, obviously, if you see growths on your chinchillas, or, you know, bumps or lumps on your chinchillas, then it might be worth seeking a vet again. Yeah, I can't think of much else. I've probably missed something massive out of here. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been helpful. See you in the next one.